Hey guys, this is Doug May with That Audio Guy. In this video, we're gonna take a look here at the FX page here in the patch window. So each patch or part in Omnisphere can have up to 16 different effects. They're organized into these racks of four. So you have a rack that applies to layer A, a rack that applies to layer B, a rack that's common to both layers or the entire patch, and then an aux rack. Only audio from layer A will be sent through the rack for A, only audio from layer B will be sent through the rack from B, audio from the entire patch will be sent through the common rack, and then this auxiliary rack, how it works is each one of these other racks, you can actually send various levels to the auxiliary rack. And you do that with these sliders right here in the top right corner. The auxiliary rack is really good for things like delays or reverbs that you want to apply to both layers or even the entire patch, but in various levels. Maybe one of the layers you don't want so much of the delay or something like that. That's what the auxiliary rack is really good for. One thing you'll notice under the A and B tabs is you'll see this pre-post option right here. If you have pre-selected, what that means is it's going to send audio through the aux rack first and then through the rack for that layer. If you have post selected, then it's the other way around. It's going to go through the layer rack first and then the aux rack. And then in the aux rack, you'll see this aux return slider. This controls the output of this rack. So you can control how much is coming out of this rack with this, and you can control how much is going into it with these. So to add an effect, all you need to do is click this triangle right here and a drop down will open. And as you can see, there's a lot of different effects that you can apply. I really highly recommend that you go through these effects and experiment with them, find out what they're doing to your sound, get a good idea of how they work. And if you don't know what things like compressors or EQs are, make sure you go check out some of the other videos on the website where we explain those concepts. One effect that I really highly recommend playing with under this creative tab is this inner space effect. So you've got these two drop down tabs right here. They open up menus with submenus, and there's a ton of different space or textural type resonance effects that you can apply to your sound. And then you have this, this knob right here that controls kind of the mix between the two if you decide to pick two different effects. The input determines how much of the audio is going to be sent through this effect. The output determines how much is going to come out of it. And then you have this mix slider right here. This effect works by superimposing different sounds on top of each other. So I've loaded a piece of audio. Let me show you what it sounds like. So it's just some kids that are playing and laughing. If I click this drop down tab right here, come to textural, symbols, and then pick one of these. Now when I play it, it sounds like this. You can hear that it's just added some resonance and some interesting sounding symbol type builds into that. You could even do something like this where you come to the aux rack, add a few different ones. In fact, let's just add two of them. In this one, I'm just gonna pick this environment, just pick one of these. And then in this one, I'll pick something like this textural flute. Maybe I'll bring these mix levels down a little bit, come back to the rack for layer A, turn up the aux send a little bit, make sure it's on post. So now what's gonna happen is the audio is gonna come through this effect first. It's gonna send it to the aux rack at this level that I've determined and then it's gonna return it at this level. And now with all those effects applied, it sounds like this. So it creates a really interesting texture. That's something you probably would hear in like a horror film or something. So that's how it works. You've got racks for all of these, and then you can send them to the aux rack. It's really cool the way you can set it up. If you ever want to clear a rack, all you need to do is hit this preset and then hit empty rack and that'll clear it. You can also add preset racks that have been included from Spectrosonics by clicking this tab right here. You can go through these menus and pick different things. So maybe let's do a chorus verb one. You can see that they've set up this rack. It's a really good way to go through different ideas quick. So that's pretty much it for the effects. It's, it's really straightforward. I really highly recommend that you go through the different effects and figure out what it is that they're doing to your sound, get an idea of how they work. That's the best way to learn. And as you've seen, there's plenty of different really cool things in here. So have fun with it, guys. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the arpeggiator in Omnisphere. So stay tuned, and we'll see you guys there.